at us, giving us uh, 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 punishments for doing this, punishments for doing that, punishments for doing this, but you're okay as long as you do this. And that, that channel of it's okay if you do this is getting narrower and narrower and narrower. And what they want to do is to bombard us and batter us into acquiescence. So we become subservient totally to the system. Never challenge it. Just stay in this narrow band of robotic computer terminal uh, perception. To turn this into this. A bar-coded computer terminal unquestioning acquiescent robot. And they've done it before in smaller groups. This is China. This is waiting for work in the factory in China. And China is in so many ways a blueprint of the global society they want. 1.5 billion people in China. They're controlled by a relative handful. Because the 1.5 billion are acquiescent. And therefore they cannot use their numbers to overturn the dictatorship of the few. Because they're programmed not to. The rabbit hole goes very deep, even deeper than I've got to now. The journey continues. But it's to control perception and get us to believe we have no power. We bloody do. To get us to believe that we should just follow the one in front, because that's what everyone else does. Like bloody hell, we will. And in 10 minutes, I'll come back and let's look at what we can do. Thank you very much. Thank you. I've changed my smelly shirt for, I think, a very really appropriate colour for this last section, actually. Um, I was, smelt like a wrestler's drop strap out there, I tell you. Um, okay, so where now? Well, this section is about the control system coming down. Because we're in a period where a dramatic shift in human awareness and human consciousness is in the process of taking shape. Some people call it the shift, sometimes I call it the vibration of quickening, but what I've been calling it for 20 years, because I came across this in the very earliest days after I met that psychic, that first psychic, I called it the truth vibrations. The first book I ever wrote after that um, awakening started, because it's ongoing, was called Truth Vibrations or The Truth Vibrations, because I came across this awareness there seemed no evidence at the time, my goodness, that there was a vibrational change in the process of coming. I understand it more now, mine, and we'll get into it, but I had no idea then. And what it was going to do was act like a spiritual alarm clock, and it was going to wake people up. It was going to wake people up from this slumber, this coma that we've been in for so long. And also, my goodness me, as this truth proved to be true 20 years on, that it was going to bring to the surface all that had remained hidden. That the truth was not only coming out, it couldn't be stopped from coming out because this vibrational change was bringing it to the surface. Like I say, 20 years ago, awakening? New consciousness? <laughs> what? Truth coming out? Oh, you must be joking. 20 years on, my goodness, look at it.
I'm fortunate to travel the world speaking, and I'm being invited to more and more countries. You never think you're being be invited to. Um, and so I can see that this is not just happening in Britain, not just happening in America. It's happening all over the world. And all the uh, differences is those that are staying in mind for now and those who are opening mind to this change and perceiving self in the world in a completely different way. So I've been saying through the day, there's a base vibrational construct, the, the base vibration of this virtual reality coming out of the black holes, which triggers as it goes through its cycle, which appears in the play out world as like a time loop, it triggers different information coming from the suns. And we decode that information. Um, and as it changes, so the information changes, and so therefore the epoch changes, the yuga changes. And we're now at this cusp where we're going from one epoch, one vibrational information epoch, into another one. And this new one is dramatically more expansive, dramatically more um, enlightened in the uh, level of awareness that we are going to have access to. And the control system, which is a manifestation of this epoch, cannot survive this epoch, and that's why it's doomed. And we're now in the cusp of that uh, change from one kind of world experience into another one. It's just another stage on the, the circuit of experience. And so, while for a few years yet, it's not going to seem like the control system's going down, because it's going to be throwing everything at us, because it's going to be desperate, there is no way that our children, young people, and grandchildren are going to live out their lives, as appears to be the case now, in an Orwellian fascist global state. No way. This changing epoch, changing information, is starting to be activated within the Earth grid and, of course, within the human grid. This new information is starting, to, for those that, that open themselves to it, instead of stay closed in, in, in density, because if you stay in a dense state, then these higher vibration energies are not going to impact like you if, you if you open yourself to them and connect with them. But those that are awakening, these, this new photon information, this more expanded perception, is start, we're starting to integrate it, and we're starting to get insights from it, because it contains information that hasn't been around. Um, in this period we've been, been through. Now it is, and suddenly it's like, oh, I see it now, oh, I get it now. Why didn't I get it before? Because you're now decoding a totally different level of information that's becoming available, and it's encouraging us, it's pressing us, it's urging us to open to all that is and change the way we perceive the world. What certainly is true is some strange things are happening in the sun. Um, the, the sun goes through cycles of uh, less activity and more activity, uh, the so-called sunspot cycle, which also produces the solar flares and all that business. Um, and it, it's kind of quite a predictable cycle of some 11 years, and it goes into a down period, and then another one starts. But what's happening now is that the down period has been bewildering scientists, because the new period, the new sunspot cycle of, of uh, activity, which will push temperatures up a bit, and these bloody global warmers will go orgasmic when it does, see, see, um, uh, is, is not becoming active. There is no one, this is a, a, something I, I, I read in a, a scientific magazine, there is no one alive today, or nearly alive today, who has experienced a down state of sunspot activity of the kind that we've been through in the last few years. Well, temperatures have been falling. This one um, is the so-called near solar minimum in January 2005 um, of sunspot activity, and this was the sun yesterday in terms of sunspot activity. Something's changing, and other things about the sun are not reacting as they normally would. But I suspect that when it starts again, and it will, we're going to see some dramatic activity in the sun. And that will impact upon not just the Earth's energy field, it will impact on our, our consciousness, our awareness, and things will start to speed up. Because this new, new information construct coming out of the sun 
um, is symbolized by uh, Neil Hagen, myself, as a lion, as the real human being I symbolize as a, a lion also. And basically, these truth vibrations are going to uh, dramatically, and as we go through these next few years, dramatically affect human perception, human awareness, and human potential as this new information becomes decoded and the awareness potential expands and we access a greater part of all possibility. Another thing these truth vibrations are going to do and are doing is to break that wall, that line of troops on the left brain and we're going to be accessing more and more of our right brain potential. So our creativity, our insight, our ability for what people would call genius today, it's not, it's the natural human state, is going to more and more expand. We're heading in for an incredible time. It might not seem like it like for a few years, like I say, because these people will be uh, battening down the hatches and trying to do everything they can to stop it, but that is, is what awaits us. Um, uh, in many ways, I, I wish I wasn't 58. I wish I was like 28, because I'd live through, like to live through a bit more of this, but I, I'll have had me fill by the time I'm done, which is, which is bloody well not yet, I'll tell you. So, when, um, so as we are impacted by these truth vibrations, because we open ourselves to them, then we break out of these boxes. And these are the people who are not being touched by that yet, but my goodness me, I'm seeing people now change dramatically in no time. I was walking through um, uh, where I was speaking in Santa Fe last year, and this guy walks past me. He's, he, he'd flown in from um, Austin, Texas, and he said, three months ago, mate, I thought you were mad. Words to that effect. He said, now I get it. And he got it so quick, and we're going to see this happening. People changing dramatically. And also, as I understood 20 years ago, that all that's been hidden, the curtain is being pulled back. And we're in for some shocks. I mean, of course, what we've talked about today is shocking to most people who uh, have seen the world in, a, in another way, but the shocks are going to go on because uh, what's been going on in this world behind the scenes is nothing like what we think it is. And these truth vibrations, this energetic change, this new epoch of enlightenment and expansion and people call love and harmony and respect, connection, is going into these dark places, these structures that um, are held together by low vibrational density and breaking them up. Not, you know, like a war. It's, the, it's a new epoch coming. And as the new epoch comes, the energetic change is going to break up the denser structure of society and belief. And um, like I say, if these guys think, as they do, because they're accessing here, not here, because of their mental and emotional state, uh, that it's a done deal, well, they're in for a bit of a shock. Because, you know, when, um, when you've got a dam of water, it can take a long, long time before the cracks appear. But from the cracks appearing to collapse can be a very, very short time. And already, if you look, from this perspective, the cracks are appearing. And the first, the first crack um, is when people say, I've had a freaking belly full of this. I ain't taking this anymore. Then the cracks start to appear. And what we're going to see in the next uh, 10 years is this control system, increasingly as the years pass and these truth vibrations get more powerful, we're going to see this control system come down because a new awareness is being breathed into this reality and a control system based on suppression of awareness therefore cannot survive that change. Now, um, another perspective on why the control system is going crazy now. As I say, they can see down what we call a timeline further than we can when we're in this reality because they're in another reality looking in. So they could see, they don't know the scale of it because they can't get out here where it's being orchestrated from and they can get here. But they can get a feeling and they have had a, a, an awareness that this energetic change was coming and how it could potentially affect the slaves in terms of waking them up. It is absolutely no coincidence whatsoever that it is now 
of all times in this experience.